Hello my friends! Today's video is going to be all about how to tie, not a dozen of them, but at least just one, Captain Albert Whitney's Rose Knot from the Ashley Book of Knots number 894. These little guys. So they're not going to stay in this, in this coffee mug. They're going to be going onto this frame behind me. So I thought it would be only fair to do a tutorial on how to tie these little guys. I'm going to do it in a larger version so that you can actually see the doggone thing. So uh, that's about it. That's what this is going to be. Uh, if you're enjoying these, please subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And like them and share them with your friends. Thanks a bunch. Let's tie a rose knot. Here you go. I tied this prior to the beginning of the video for the sake of time. I have obviously the expanded version. I'm doing this in four and a half millimeter instead of the two millimeter that I've been tying the small rose knots that are going on this particular frame uh, for the sake of, so that you can see it, period. So these are 30 inch long lines. The smaller ones I did in 23 inch just to accommodate the needs there. What you do is you unlay one strand and then reeve each line into the other line. So they're infinitely variable. You can slide them out or in to accommodate something going through the middle, which in this case, you do need to run the lines through the middle. You'll see that. So here's how you start. You've got, what you've done is you've taken three lines and made them into six lines radially. And you start by going one, over one, and then under one, all the way around. So let's do that. Over one, under one. And we're gonna put our hand like this so we can hold those up, keep them in line. Over one, under one. And you gotta keep these straight. Over one, under one. Spin her around as you go, over one, and under one. And then we're back around to where we started. Over one, and under one, there's the first one. It's a loop now, over one and under one. And then this is the only potentially confusing part right here at the beginning. You're going to go over this one and then back under this one to finish our little circuitous route here around the, around the horn. So that's that. Let's lay them out and see what we have. See if everything looks in order. It appears to be. So there is the beginning. Now, the next step is we're gonna take each of these that are now laying over two lines each and just go over one. So we're going straight down there straight down there and so forth, all the way around. Over one, over one, over one, over one, over one, and finally over one. So let's fare this up a bit just to Make it look a little bit more tidy. That one needs to be adjusted through there, through there. And by the way, when you're doing this and making one or many, you need to make this adjustment kind of to the size you want it to be at this point, because pulling them all through 
later to ferret up is quite challenging. So next step, each of these is laying directly next to its friend inbound, inboard of it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this line and follow this lead, go over to this one and this one, down through here, and then under these two to come up right here. So let's do that. This one, the one that's actually touching. Around here, over two, and then back under two. And again, around here, over two, and under two. And let's hold these up too. They will get in the way. There's that. Get my fit out of the way before it drives me nuts. Around here, over two. Under two. Over two. Under two. And just make sure, to make sure you're keeping yourself on track is that these are paralleling each other. Following that one. And really that's all you're doing. You can say under, under two, over two all you want, but if you just follow exactly where this lead does, just as if you were uh, doubling up a, a Turk's head, same thing. Because the next step is simply a continuation of following that lead. So this is not tied. This is the knot tied. And at this juncture, what I usually do is put my finger in the middle here and then grab all the leads and just give it a gentle tug and you'll see how it's cupping into that flowerish rose shape. So, what's our next step? You could triple this or quadruple it simply by following, in this case, this one would follow this line, right? And you would go through here, around there, and back down here. Just follow this one. The one that is next to you, follow it, and then it would be tripled. Or you could go around again and quadruple it. Um, but we're not gonna do that in this case. Keep it simple. You can do a lot of different things, a lot of variations with these. It's pretty fun. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is tie a crown. Counterclockwise, crown. So over one. Pull that down, over one, over the next one, over the next one, and over the next one. And then this is where we started, over here, I think. Yeah, here we go. And we're gonna go over that one. And now we have crown tied. Tear that up a smidge. So there's that. We've tied a crown in the middle. Then these are all going to go in turn <coughs> down through here. Yep, and down through here. There's the middle. I missed it. That's the middle. Double check what you're doing. This is not quite concentric. You can move this around some too if you want to. Matter of fact, I think I will. Move that around. There we go. So, let's do that. There's one. And the next. Next in order, counterclockwise.
and the final one. Here's the one we just tied. Here is same thing tied, but embellished by coming back up through around the edges here, doing another crown and then tucking those crown leads straight back down through. Very different look. Same thing, but in a smaller version. These are in the two millimeter line. These are in four and a half millimeter. So give it a try. They're not that hard. And once you get used to tying them, I would love to see what you guys come up with as examples of uh, maybe embellishments that uh, I haven't thought of or nobody else has thought of. Lots of different ways and it's, uh, it's a fun knot to tie. So enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll be back soon.